Hello everyone, welcome to Automatus Industrial Projects. I am Santosh and in this video I will explain you about set, save, CLR function in Siemens STL language. So what is save function? It saves the RLO into the BR bit and as discussed in the last video about status word, uh, BR bit is the last bit of the status and it stores the binary result and it helps in implementation of enable output mechanism for a block call. So and uh, RLO and the save function normally we use in the exit of the block uh, as it sets the enable output. So let's check with an example. Okay, so here is an example you can see uh, this particular block FC10 is cascaded in the same network and um, you can see the block is not in green color and also um, when I make m30.50 to 1 you cannot monitor the output m30.6 and even it is not set to 1 so let's check why uh, why it's not enabled and how we can make this enable with the help of save function so let's enable the save function here so we write set save and CLR. So set sets the RLO to 1, save uh, sets the BR bit to 1 and CLR resets the RLO to 0. Okay, So normally we exit the block with this set save CLR and how does it affect on the on the block? Let's check this. Okay, So here um, when the button is on the lamp is on so that's why the, um, the RLO and status is zero for time being because we didn't on the button and um, you see uh, the BR bit is zero till this set point but the RLOs are set to one and when the save instruction is used the BR bit is set to one and also the RLOs are set to one and with the CLR instruction the both uh, RLO and status are set to zero. So let's see what is the effect of these three instructions on the program. Okay, now you see uh, the block is in green color and we are also enabled with this FC10. That means uh, when you use the save instruction, it sets the BR bit. That means it sets the enable output of the particular block. And if this enable output is set, then you can make the cascading of the same block or different blocks where the save instruction is used. If the enable output is not set, then this block, this block will not execute because the BR bit is not set to 1. That's why it's important to use the save instruction when you exit the block because it sets the enable output of a block. So you can see also the green color and also the next block is activated because of this enable output. This is as an enable input for the next block. And when I set to 1, you see the also 1 when I make here also 0, the bit is 0. So one more time we remove this save function from the block and you can see the reverse effect again. I bypass this all. You see the last status, the last status will be still set. So, you know, last status is set. E I can easily remove it. And now again, you see when I make to 0 or 1, there is no effect here for the bit. You see, there is no effect for the bit. 30.6 and here also there is no signal flowing the enable output flowing to the enable input so let's enable again it's really important to use the save function when you are writing in STL because uh, in ladder or FBD by default the enable um, output is as standard Okay, now you see again the blocks got enabled, the enable output is set to enable input and you see when I make 1, this is 1 and 0, 0. So let's uh, let's check with an other example which is there. Here also the block is enabled because when you check this in the STL language, here we are using the save function that we could make a cascade and okay save it and monitor 
the two term, the two numbers are um, real numbers and they have calculated and we are using the ov bit to check whether the bit if it is over float bit then we don't go for the output or we don't set the output and here the overflow bit is not set to 1 and uh, when we are using the save bit the br bit is set to 1 also the rlo is set to 1 and with this br bit when the br bit is set to 1 we are making the output coil high you can also check in the ladder it's in ladder it's by default you see the enable output the enable input and here the enable output we are setting in the STL language with the help of this BR bit and in ladder it's automatically as a standard. Hope this video helps you and if you have any queries please write it down in the comment box or if you want any particular topic to be covered from automated industrial projects please let us know. Thank you for watching this video.